girls and squirrels. Happy Wednesday. What day is it? Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Hi, I'm Christina Sherilyn and I'm a vintage reseller, which means I rummage through people's unwanted items and find the most amazing vintage pieces to give them a second chance. I love styling up vintage clothing in a modern way, investigating the history of each piece, and most of all, I love the treasure hunt. So follow along on my journey and let's see what we can find. So I have an awesome new series that I am starting on my channel called Trash to Treasure. This is where I go around my neighborhood, go around the city, find things that people have just left on the curb for trash pickup, and I flip it into something amazing. So in today's very first episode, I found this amazing vintage vanity bench seat, and it is incredible. As soon as I saw it on the side of the road, I was like, I have to have that. At first I thought it was a footstool, but then when I pulled it out of the trash like the little trash panda I am I discovered that it was a vanity bench seat it's mid-century it's gorgeous I knew it had potential to be something amazing something really boho chic and I'm really excited with how this project turned out so without further ado here is that project I hope you guys enjoy this video oh my goodness isn't this beautiful it needs to be polished definitely it's got these wooden handles um, it, I'm probably gonna go ahead and reupholster it because it does have some spots but it's easy to reupholster. It's one of those ones where you can just unscrew it and it's really easy to redo. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cushion um, and try and take the fabric off today. I'm also gonna try and polish this. I've heard that ketchup polishes brass. Now I'm not sure if this is actual brass or if it's just a brass overlay. So I'm gonna put some ketchup on and just see, let's just see what happens. It's worked on brass pieces before and it um, the acid and the ketchup really helps to remove tarnish. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. But first let's get this cushion off. Looks like there's clearly a little bit of water damage so I'm gonna go ahead and this is just cardboard so I'm gonna go ahead and rip this off. Let's see what we got under here. The wood seems fine. I think it's just the cardboard that got wet at some point. I'm gonna unscrew all this and reupholster it. It's hard to do with one hand. Story of my life. Let's see. There we go. Alright, so see, nice little wood base. The wood looks good. There's some minor like cracking right there, but not a big deal. Looks good. This is gonna clean up really nicely. I'm excited about this. Can't believe I just found this on the side of the road. So that was super easy. As you can see, it was just held in by these screws and these little brackets. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and rip this fabric off to see what we're working with underneath to see how salvageable the cushion actually is. I may have to get some foam to go on top of this. The wood is actually in really great shape um, for its age. So let's see if we can get this fabric off. This is just stapled on there. So I'm just using a flathead screwdriver to get under there and really get this fabric off. I know it would probably be easier to just cut it, but um, I left my scissors in the house and I don't feel like going back in. So um, we're just gonna rip this bad boy off, but I can already see the foam. It's not in the worst condition from what I can see, but I feel like I'm probably gonna replace it. Um, Cause I feel like it's just dirty to be honest. So yeah, I'm just gonna get the rest of this fabric off. So the fabric is off. Let's see the grand reveal. Let's see how dirty this is. Oop. Yeah, it's not great. I don't know what that is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably just remove this and I will replace this cushion. It's kind of like, it's not falling apart. It's not in the worst condition, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be a lot more like dry rotted, but it is like shedding on my hand like you can see on this hand where it's like shedding um so i think i'm gonna go ahead and replace this go ahead and leave it on there i'm not gonna rip it off yet um until i can get to a fabric store and get some new foam because i want to use this as a template but i want to go ahead and see what this fabric that i have would look like on it 
okay so this fabric is actually dual sided so it's got the lighter color and then the darker color which i'm not sure which one i like better to be honest so let's see hmm. for the overall aesthetic i like the warmth of this and i feel like it brings out the warmth in the wood but I'm kind of leaning more towards this because it's more of a contrast. I feel like this just kind of all blends together, but this is really gonna make this brown stand out and the brass stand out. So I think I'm gonna go with this side. This is just some leftover fabric that I had. I had bought a really long time ago at Goodwill, I think for like $3 uh, because it was such good fabric and I knew I could find something to do with it. So I'm really glad that I kept this because I think it's gonna be perfect for this seat and it's it's very durable so I think it'll be the perfect fabric for this. Alrighty so next step we're gonna try and polish this. I don't know if you can see how tarnished it is. I think it's brass plated but I guess we're gonna see. I'm not really sure. The only thing that's really throwing me off is it's super silver right here where this has been rubbed off so I feel like it's plated brass. If anybody is an expert in the comments let me know. Um, obviously I'm about to take ketchup to it so it doesn't really matter. Um, it'll be too late by the time you see this video but <laughs> We're gonna see how much of this tarnish I can get off and see if we can get her looking a little bit shinier than she already is. So yeah, I've got my rag, I've got my ketchup. Let's do this. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> it didn't do anything. I had a feeling that this wasn't brass. It's definitely a metal that was painted to look like brass. So. I gotta figure out what to do. I don't know if I should repaint it. Um, if I should scrape this off. I feel like if I scrape it off, it's just gonna scratch up the metal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm thinking I might just repaint it. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that in the comments, but um, I'm thinking I'm gonna repaint it. Is that... Is that dramatic? Should I do that? Should I not do that? Let's, I'm gonna ask on Instagram and then tomorrow we'll see what the what the verdict is. Alrighty, so I decided to go ahead and keep the cushion because it is in a lot better condition than I thought. I just took some baking soda and a tiny little spritz of vinegar and just kind of cleaned the surface of it, let it dry, rolled over it a bunch of times with a lint roller to get all the surface stuff off and it smells fine, it smells good, there's no odor or anything. Um, and it's actually in pretty good shape. It's not shedding or anything like that. So I am gonna go ahead and keep the cushion that was originally on it. That'll not only save me time, effort, but it'll also save money. So um, now I guess we're going to reupholster this thing. I went ahead and got a staple gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the fabric and then we're gonna get the fabric on the cushion. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have my piece of fabric cut out. I obviously left some extra just so I can have enough wiggle room to get it in the right position and get it all tacked down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and remove some of these staples. I don't know how, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> some of these extra staples need to come out so it can just look a little bit cleaner. And then I'm going to go ahead and staple the new fabric on. All right, so I've seen a lot of tutorials. When it comes to upholstering corners, a lot of people take the corners first and then do the outsides. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I've never done this before. So if worse comes to worse, I have more fabric. We can always remove the staples. So we just go go for it in true Christina fashion. Little to no research, we're just doing it. So I've got the corners tacked down and then the thing is you're supposed to flip it up like this so then you have good creases on the corner. So hopefully this works. It looks like it's going to. I think I've got it all tacked down in the right spots. I went ahead and tacked down that side and that corner looks really good. So hopefully the rest of the corners turn out well. 
too, and we don't have to redo this. Here's a little sneak preview of what it's gonna look like. I love how it turned out. I'm gonna do a lighter brass paint on it so that the wood stands out a little more. I think this brass color is a little bit too orangey. It's a little too warm. So to really make those wood handles pop and really showcase this fabric, I'm gonna do a lighter brass paint, but this is what it's looking like so far. So I've got it all cleaned up. I've got the handles taped off. I've got this Rust-Oleum metallic all surface paint and primer in pure gold. I did a little test spot right there. It may turn out a little more yellow than I want, but this is the lightest gold that I could find. So we're just gonna go with it and see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, let's get to painting. Okay, so the first coat of spray paint is on. I'm gonna go over it once it dries and just touch it up and get any spots that I miss or that weren't covered all the way. Alrighty, so it is the last day of this project. I've got it all painted. Let me go over here so you guys can see it in the light. That is what it looks like. She is beautiful. Now we just got to take this paper off and hope there's no paint on these handles. Hopefully I taped it up good enough. And we're going to go ahead and polish these wooden handles. I've got this liquid gold wood care. So I'm just going to put this on there and hopefully it cleans up really nicely. So let's take a second to remember what this beauty looked like before and after. you guys that is it she is done oh my gosh I love how this turned out so I decided to keep some of the original metal on the handles just to give a little more contrast you can see where the original metal was a gold color so there's little specks of gold and it hints to the all over gold on the piece and I really love that that kind of matched I didn't do that on purpose but I love it so that is awesome so the new metal is bringing out the old metal which is great Alrighty, you guys so that does it for the very first episode of trash to treasure i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think of this project down below i would love to hear from you guys i'm so excited about this piece i honestly want to keep it for myself but i'm gonna sell it i'm gonna stick it on facebook marketplace right now so as always thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our family we would love to have you and i will see you next time bye guys